How the heck do you hand launch, fly, and then land your drone while on something that's moving like a kayak? Coming up. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm Christine and this is Create with CL where I teach you everything that goes behind being a travel creator, including using tools like my drone. I'm a nonstop traveler who's often solo, so I have to get shots like this myself of myself. So if you're interested in learning more about how to do things like this, consider signing up for my newsletter below in the description to get even the checklist of the eight steps I'm gonna bring you through on how to get these amazing shots. Step one is checking the map and checking the weather. And when I say map, I'm talking about, I use the app Kitty Hawk, where you're looking at the map of where you wanna fly and all of the places you're gonna be driving or boating or going around in to make sure it's actually legal to fly there. And then check the weather to make sure that you're not you know, in some way, something that's moving and then the weather is coming at the same time. So check the map and check the weather. Step two is to location scout in advance. And I have a video on that, so check the link in the description below. But you wanna make sure you're not coming out here and then just paddling around everywhere, trying to find something that looks cool. I like to use tools like Google Earth and Google Maps with satellite to make sure I know where I'm trying to go to before I'm actually on site. Step three are things you need to do before you go. And by the way, if you're getting some value out of this or having some fun with me, cheers that like button and consider subscribing. All right, so this next part is making sure that if you're on, for example, a boat like I am, then you wanna make sure that you're bringing something like a wet bag and a towel just in case. The other thing you need to do is on your drone, you need to change the distance limit under the safety settings. In other words, especially if you're in a car and you're driving far from point A to point B, if you have a distance limit set up on your drone, it will just stop flying and you will keep moving without your drone. So consider changing those settings before you head out. The next part is to get out there and hand launch your drone. I have a video on that in the description below that can teach you how to do it in just a couple easy steps. But the thing to know that's different about being in something that's moving is in the same way that you should spit downwind and fart downwind same rules apply for your drone. Step five is getting the shots. And again, I have a checklist, so sign up for the newsletter in case it's, in case you don't wanna take notes as you're listening to me right now. But basically, you wanna use quick shots and timed shots for while you're taking photography and video of yourself because I'll be honest, it's kinda hard to paddle while flying my drone and balancing the whole thing between my knees at the same time. So I'm using these two styles of shots to get my photos and videos. Step six is make sure you're not having so much fun that you're not watching your battery. This is a time in which you don't wanna push it on your battery level. Just in case conditions are difficult when you're trying to land, you wanna give Landing. yourself that spare time to be able to land your drone. For example, one time when I was flying my drone while swimming with manatees in Crystal River, I waited too long to land my drone. The thing was beeping like crazy. And at that moment, the current was insanely strong. There were manatees all around me and my drone was landing because it was out of batteries and it was, it was gonna land into the water. So don't beat me and make sure you grab your drone prior to the batteries going out. All right, let's bring her in. Step seven is about landing your drone, but location scouting for where you might want to land. So for example, if you're on a boat, you might consider landing closer to a dock in case you want to use that dock to land on. Or for me, I was in an area where the current was really strong. So I decided to paddle out toward a little bit of a sandbar so that my boat would stay more still when I landed it, which brings us to step eight, which is hand landing your drone. The thing to know here, again, check the video in the description on how to do this. But the thing you need to know about being in something that's moving is be ready to pull that emergency button. In other words, the part where you land your drone in your hand and then flip it over really quick so that it stops the motors is something I try very hard to never use, but sometimes you gotta in these situations. And that's how you get shots like these ones from something that's moving. I had so much fun making this video, minus the part where the fish are jumping everywhere and the mosquitoes are biting me. But I'm here every week with new videos. Consider subscribing, share this with somebody, it might help. And I'll see ya in the next one. Ciao.